the Galaxy S26 Ultra is once again in the spotlight, and this time the attention comes from a new leak that finally gives us a clearer idea of the processor Samsung is planning to use. For months, there has been constant confusion about which chipset Samsung would choose. Some rumors said Samsung would use a mix of Snapdragon and Exynos again. Others claimed the company would return to a full Exynos rollout in many regions. A few reports even suggested Samsung had an entirely new strategy for the S26 lineup. But now a strong and reliable leak has appeared, and it may finally settle the argument, at least for the Ultra model. The new information comes from official FCC certification documents. These documents are usually published shortly before a product launches. They contain technical details, communication specs, and hardware confirmation for devices entering the U.S. market. According to the listings that were recently discovered, several Galaxy S26 Ultra models passed through the FCC. The surprising part is that all of them appear to be running Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 chipset. This single detail changes the entire discussion because it suggests Samsung may once again use a global Snapdragon rollout for the Ultra model. The listings include multiple model numbers clearly belonging to the Galaxy S26 Ultra. Each one shows the same chipset, and that consistency makes the leak believable. Samsung has a long history of using different chipsets in different regions, Snapdragon in markets like the US and China, and Exynos in Europe, South Asia and parts of the Middle East. The Galaxy S23 series was the first in a long time to use Snapdragon worldwide, then the Galaxy S24 lineup brought back Exynos for many regions. Because of that pattern, most people assumed Samsung would split chipsets again this year. But for the Ultra model, this leak shows a very different direction. Another interesting detail in the documents is a feature called Smart Transmit Plus. This is a technology used to boost uplink performance, and it works only with Qualcomm's X85 modem. The X85 modem is found exclusively in the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. This makes it extremely likely that Samsung is indeed using Snapdragon inside the S26 Ultra. The documents also show support for Wi-Fi 7 UWB NFC and 5G bands that match Qualcomm's high-end platform perfectly. While this evidence is strong for the Ultra model, there is still no confirmed information about the regular S26 or S26 Plus models. Some older leaks claim Samsung might use the Exynos 2600s in South Korea and possibly in a few other regions, so it is still possible that the lower models will have different chipsets, depending on the region. But for the Ultra, the new FCC information strongly supports a Snapdragon-only approach. The chipset topic has always been sensitive for Samsung fans. Many people have strong opinions. Some believe Snapdragon chips are more efficient, better for gaming, and handle heat better. Others say Exynos has improved a lot and now performs almost the same as Snapdragon. Online polls show people are divided. Some think the chip is the most important part of a flagship phone, while others care only about real-world performance, not the brand name. This debate has gone on for years, and every new leak creates more arguments. The new FCC information will likely bring the same reaction, excitement from Snapdragon fans, and questions from those who want to know whether Exynos is still part of Samsung's plan. Samsung has not commented officially, so the debate will continue until the launch event. Samsung is expected to announce the Galaxy S26 series in January, following its usual schedule. After the announcement, the phone should ship within a few weeks. Only then will we know the confirmed processor details for every region. Some recent reports about the Exynos 2600 claim that Samsung's new in-house chip may be more competitive than expected. If true, the performance gap between Snapdragon and Exynos might be smaller than before. Modern flagship phones are already extremely powerful, so the difference may not be as noticeable in everyday use. Still, many people prefer having Snapdragon in the Ultra model because Samsung positions the Ultra as the most advanced device in the lineup. The Ultra includes the best cameras, the S Pen, and the highest performance features. A global Snapdragon rollout ensures every user gets the same experience, the same optimization, and predictable results in reviews. It also avoids confusion when comparing battery life and gaming tests across regions. There is also a possibility that Samsung wants to reserve Snapdragon only for the Ultra to make it feel more premium. The regular S26 and S26 Plus might still use Exynos in some markets to reduce costs while keeping performance solid. Until Samsung makes an official announcement, the information remains a leak. But since FCC documents are usually accurate about core hardware, this should be taken seriously. For now, all signs point toward a global Snapdragon 80 Elite Gen 5 powering the Galaxy S26 Ultra, making it one of Samsung's most consistent flagship experiences yet.